Hi, my name is Eduardo Sanseverino. I'm a software engineer from Frogbook Company. And today I'm going to show you how we can control our assistant using voice. You're going to be able to talk with Amazon Alexa device and Google Assistant device. In order to make that work, we need a Raspberry Pi and a FrogLink plugged in. So let's start. First, you should go to io.adafruit.com. That's the first service which you have to config, sign in. So in my case, I already have an account created. Just put the email or username and the password for our account. Very simple. Sign in. Then we are inside of io.adafruit. Let's create a feed, feed you all. Let's create a group. You don't need to create, but in matter of be organized, let's create a group. Just go to actions and create a new group. Let's create a group called demo. Just click create. Let's create a feed inside of that group. Let's first remove the default group demo and let's create light as a feed name. Okay, then we created a feed inside of a demo group. To test if we, everything is working, let's duplicate that tab, go to dashboard, click in and view all, let's create a new dashboard called demo. Just push create and inside of the demo let's create some components like a toggle button and the feed which is linked to that it's light. Next step, let's change on to 1 and off to 0 and let's test it here. When we press on, 1 is going to be published and when we press off, 0 is going to be published. Let's create that block. Let's make some clicks to check. 1 on and off. Let's back to the feed, open the feed. And so here you can see the graphic being plotted. That's the log. That's the, the, the second click and the third click, which is we click it before. And just one more time on, and we have a, a graphic here according with the values and the time. Again off, and you're going to see the line going down to off, and that is the time. So everything works good, everything is connected. So one important thing is the I.O. key, so the username. In the activity key, we should save that to using the node red in the future. Everything is working, everything is created and configured. So let's make a quick recap. Feeds, we create a group called demo and the feed called light inside of that group. And then we create a dashboard with the same name, demo, only to check if everything is connected and is working. So right now let's integrate our Google Assistant in our IFTTT servers. So let's visit again EFTTT.com and let's create the integration. So the menu, up the upper right side, let's click it here if something happens. So right now we should integrate with Google Assistant. Let's create and let's search for Google Assistant. Yeah, the first one, Google Assistant. Let's click it. And yeah, that's very important. Let's connect our account, give it the permission. I'm already logged in the browser, so he already found it. And let's click it and give it the allowance to be connected. Allow. Okay. So let's first, let's choose the first option, say a simple phrase. We have several options, but which is important to us here is the first one. And here we have three options to trigger our service. Let's write something like light. And the second option, let's turn light on. So as a second option to trigger. We don't need it, but only to show how that works. The first one, the second one is set. And we should, you can also have the option to say what uh, our Google Assistant should answer back. Let's put some message. We sh could also choose the language. Let's so we have the three options to trigger the service, and let's do something like yes, and to 
as an answer from the, the our phone. Let's type something more. Yes, I'm doing that. Okay, that's perfect. Let's create a trigger. And then we have to choose which servers is linked to the Google Assistant. So as we did previously, so let's choose the other fruit. Send some data to the other fruit. Let's choose which feed we're gonna use it. So the demo light is which we, one we created before. Let's choose him and let's put some data to be sent. So let's create an action. So yeah, let's review and finish. Everything looks good. So what you have to do it? It's say to Google Assistant Light, and then we're gonna send some data to other fruit. Let's click Finish. Everything looks good. Finish. Yeah. Okay. So we made a new connection. Let's click Settings to check. So we have three options. So here are the phrase, the sentence, which you can say light or turn light on. In the third option, we leave alone. So that's the answer back from the, the Google Assistant. Yes, I'm doing that. Very good. We keep that in English. That's the data which is sent to the other fruit. Let's click Save it. Okay, so right now we have our integration with Google Assistant sending some data to other fruit. That is enough to make our software triggers the action. So let's start. Let's go to ifttt.com, sign in, and our credentials, sign in, and here in the right upper menu, let's click on create. So how that works, if something happens, then we should trigger something. So let's create, click here, and looks for Amazon Alexa, create on that servers. And the first option, it say a specific phrase. So that is what we're gonna choose. Let's click on the first one to trigger some action to Alexa. Let's create. And which you're gonna say? Let's find, choose something light. Create trigger. And then we have to, after Alexa send the command, which server is gonna connect? Other fruit, click it. Let's send some data to our feed. Here are the feed list, so we create the demo light in the previous video, and the data to save it's one. Let's create the action, it's very, very simple. And then let's review which was created. So let's finish. And you made the new connection. Let's click here in settings to check. So if we say Alexa trigger light, so we're gonna send some data to the light feed. So here are the, the, the feed name and the data to send. Let's save it. And so just that. Then we make a connection with the Alexa Amazon and our feed on other fruit. MQTT, let's find here, yeah, MQTT. Let's configure our server, which is adafruit, io.adafruit.com, in the port 1883. Let's put our credentials, the same which we get it from IO key, username and the password. Okay, so let's click update. And now we have to subscribe to, to some topic. The topic is the same as we create as a feed. So let's back to other fruit and we create the demo group and the feed is light as we previously created. So we should put the full path. Let's put frog blue company slash feeds slash demo dot light. So that is the full path to our feed. Let's click done, deploy. And so if everything is working, we should see connected. So let's debug. Let's check if everything is working. Let's find a node, debug. 
let's connect in our MQTT client and if everything is okay when we press the button on dashboard on we should receive the number one exactly as we define it in the feed so everything looks okay so we press off zero is going to be sent the connection are done let's create some function to change to write on the serial frog link so first the function right now the serial which is our frog link is connected let's make the links so first to the client and then to the serial so the serial I will keep to the future right now let's create the function so the name of the function is mqtt to frog link I'm, we are receiving the data from the MQTT it's going to write to the frog link so if the message dot payload is equal to 1 let's put some write something in our serial which is the frog link so message dot payload equals to panic so panic it's one of the message which our link already has inside so let's change to panic okay let's click done and let's uh, just organize a little bit here let's put our message to check if the function is right correctly so we should see panic in the debug so let's deploy uh, okay oh the, the zero is not correctly so let's point to the frog link okay right now we're gonna appear connected perfect so let's go to the dashboard so when we click on the light feed the function should change the payload to one to panic which is the frog link you're gonna respond and put the message in our mesh system so let's go to the dashboard okay and let's push one so we are changing the payload to one to panic which is how the frog link is gonna respond with some blinking lights or something like that according to which we configure in the software so everything is connected let's make a connection to the serial and deploy and right now we are able to send message to our link so we connect first the frog the, the, the feed after that we create the function to test the, the, the topic and then we create the frog link the serial which represents our frog link so only to remember so to trigger that we should say light to the Google Assistant and also we create the same to uh, Alexa you're gonna see here applets and if we say Alexa trigger light we also gonna trigger that message which we configured before so when we see trigger light to Alexa the panic message is gonna be sent it to our frog link so let's back to the node and here we can see all the connections and the debug message also so the feed the function and the serial frog link everything connected and everything prepared to our action so after everything being configured you're going to be able to talk with amazon device and google assistant and we're going to trigger some lights on our panel let's start with google okay google light The Google API will recognize my voice and trigger some message on the panel. Let's try with Amazon device. Alexa, trigger light. Sending that to IFT. So then we have the integration with voice control in our system. Thanks for watching.